asked all the time why we decided not to follow the mill spec when it comes to our bolts, specifically why we went with 9310 steel instead of Carpenter 158. Um, the answer is simple, really. Mill spec is a loose term, but it means the minimum passing requirements, and metallurgy technology is caught up to the AR-15 since it's been created. The reason for Carpenter 158 is the mill spec is rooted in the history of the AR-15 when they used the 223 Remington round and they upgraded to the 556 NATO. Uh, the original material that they used was found to have an inadequate service life and uh, Carpenter Technologies blend of 158 steel provided that, uh, that service life and it's been the mill spec ever since. Um, ever since the creation of Carpenter 158, the metal industry has continued to innovate just like any other thing, um, especially in the firearms industry. Uh, and they've created new blends of steel. And 9310 is an AISI standard grade of tool steel that makes it about 7% stronger than mil spec Carpenter 158 uh, when it's uh, properly treated. From the base material, we took what we like from the mil spec and continued to innovate. Our 9310 bolts are magnetic particle inspected, shot peened, and heat treated, just like the mil spec, but with 9310 steel, the heat treat is critical and all the steps are completed with full certifications. From there, we opted to nitride and DLCR bolts instead of the mag phosphate. Nitrocarbonization is applied for us via the QPQ method, and the process hardens the steel surface, it reduces friction, it increases corrosion resistance. It's the same process that we use on all of our barrels. It creates a slicker, more corrosion resistant bolt that is simultaneously harder to resist wear. Um, our, our DLC bolts are actually 98 on the Rockwell scale of hardness. So when someone, when someone tells you that 9310 steel isn't mil-spec, you tell them they're absolutely right. It's better than mil-spec.